I do not take this current situation in a light manner, a fearful manner, or a vengeful manner. I do not want to be a winner by cheating. I will not play with laws I swore allegiance to. Arizona House Speaker Rusty Bowers reading a journal entry during his testimony before the January 6th committee about Donald Trump's efforts to pressure him to overturn the election results in his state. Bowers is now fighting for his political life, facing a primary challenge where Donald Trump has gone all in for his opponent. I sat down with Bowers at his home in Mesa this week. We began by discussing the reaction back home to his dramatic testimony before the January 6th committee. Your testimony was intense. It was obviously heartfelt. What was the reaction back home? Uh, many individuals would come up and thank me and say that it made him proud to be an Arizonan. What was some of the blowback you got? Oh, just that I was a traitor. The price of treason is hanging and stuff like that. But the price of most, treason is hanging. Most of what I received was just thanks. I've had people walk up and say, you know, just cold turkey. And I'm, I'm ashamed of you. So let's go back to what Trump actually wanted you to do after the election of 2020 and Rudy Giuliani. I mean, they, they, they basically wanted you to overturn the results in Arizona. I that mean, would be the result of what they asked, yes. Yeah. And then they said, well, we've heard that there's an arcane law in, in Arizona that would allow us to, that allow you, uh, if you had sufficient cause that you could, I don't even remember them saying that, but would allow you to throw out the Biden electors and, and put, the, and put yeah. in the Trump's electors. And I said, I've never heard of, that's a new one to me. I've yeah. never heard of that one. Well, did you ever consider going along with it? Did you ever? The idea of throwing out the election of the president is like, okay, so what part of Jupiter do I get to land on and colonize? And, 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 and Rudy Giuliani? More forceful, he was really the bulldog. Yeah. And you or, asked or him- more forceful ask. And you asked him for evidence of, of fraud. Over and over. And he said, yes, yes. And never gave us anything, no names, no, no data, nothing. So to this day, you've never seen any evidence that there was Oh, fraud. I saw, I saw what they claimed. So in other words. And so I got nothing. So I got words, no names, no proof, ever. Has the Justice Department reached out to you? No. Do you I've heard they've reached out to others. Do you expect they will? Don't know. If they do, that's fine with me. And you'll cooperate? I'm, I have nothing to hide, and, and I want to tell the truth. What do you think of the prospects of DOJ prosecuting Trump? When I heard what from the man sitting next to me yeah. and saw the video of him saying, I just need 11,000 votes. If I did that, yeah. or if the county supervisor did that to the county recorder, you're yeah. not gonna just do that and walk away. I mean, that's, you'd be, you'd be that's prosecuted. serious. You'd be prosecuted. Well, it's serious. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, how do you explain that away? Go find me 11,000 votes so I can win this. I mean, do you think more I, will come forward? More Republicans who know what was going on will come forward? I hope so, I hope so. I mean, there's been a suggestion that the dam is breaking. I think Liz Cheney suggested that. Do you think that's happening? Do you see any signs of that? I think there's a lot of, of us that when the dam breaks, how far will that go? Uh, Martin Luther said, I think it was attributed to him, that the drunken sailor will, after falling from one side of the mule, upon remounting, fall from the other side. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we, I just want folks to sober up and ride. So Donald Trump was just out here in Arizona. Yeah. To campaign against you. I mean, you know, a former it's president surreal. getting involved in a, in, a, in a state legislature race here. Rusty Bowers is a rhino coward who participated against the Republican Party in the totally partisan unselect committee of political thugs and hacks the other day and disgraced himself and he disgraced the state of Arizona, David. So what's that like to have the former president of the United States, the leading figure in the Republican Party, come to your backyard, call you a rhino coward, and say you disgraced yourself and disgraced the state of Arizona? I have thought at times, someone born how he was and raised how he was, he has no idea what a hard life is and what people have to go through in, real, in the real world. He has no idea what courage is. How do you explain the hold that he has, though, on, on Republicans, including a lot of Republican leaders right here in Arizona? Yeah. They, they rule by thuggery and, and intimidation 
So, you know, they, they found a niche, they found a way, and it's fear, and people can use fear. Demagogues like to use fear as a, as a weapon, and they weaponize everything, and we all know it. But it's, it's sad, that's not leadership to me, to use thuggery. Liz Cheney asked the question, can a president who was willing to make the choices Donald, Donald Trump, Trump made, made during the violence of January 6th ever be trusted with any position of authority in our great nation again? I would certainly hope not. I certainly don't trust that authority that he would exercise. Liz also said that the reality that we face today as Republicans is we have to choose to be loyal to Donald Trump or to be loyal to the Constitution. And you can't be both. And that's, what, and that's the choice that Republicans faced. I mean, it's the choice you faced. Oh, it, it's definitely, and, and forcefully so, as I said. Yeah. You will come to us or we will punish you. And, and that's kind of the attitude of that particular group. If, if you want to base a party and, and an authority and move people to solve problems, you can't base it on a lie. Ultimately, that falls apart. You never met Kevin man. McCarthy, no. but but if you were to offer some him some advice, I'm not sure he'd be seeking it from you. But, I don't but, think he would. But uh, but if you were to offer him, some just advice. tell the truth. Look at the situation. Look look at the stakes. What is at stake here? You have to have quality, moral character, and a moral compass. And in the absence of that, then the whole country is at risk. So just just to clarify, you're you're not supporting Trump I'm, again. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. My vote will never tarnish his name on a ballot. You're never again going to vote for Donald Trump. I'll yeah. never vote for him, but I won't have to. Yeah. Because I think America's tired, and there's some absolutely forceful, qualified, morally defensible, and upright people. And that's what I want. That's what I want in my party, and that's what I want to see. Our thanks to Rusty Bowers. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.